So my name is Elvira Dayal, uh, I, and the title of the show is uh, Drawing uh, the Sublime. And uh, my work generally uh, sort of rotates around uh, an idea of a drawing. Uh, so there, there are always sort of uh, architectural elements in, in my work. It's, it's the built, it's the constructed environment uh, that we as you know, humans, we make it for ourselves. Uh, it's, it's our heritage. We, we also um, produce more of it as we go on, uh, or we destroy or you know, change something that's, uh, that that's, has been um, already done by, our, by previous generations. And so this placement is, is uh, an ever-present question in, 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 my, uh, in my mind as, as I make my work. Um, in, in, the, in the work, uh, she, uh, She's Bridge, for example, um, uh, there's a, a female figure that uh, is reclining in the landscape. And uh, the, the, the landscape uh, is, is abstracted. There, there's just hints of it. The female figure um, reclines, she's, she's relaxed, and yet uh, she um, acts as this sort of strong um, element. Uh, underneath her is, is a gap, it's a canyon, uh, and uh, so she acts as, as, a, as a bridging element between, between the two land masses. And uh, at the bottom of the canyon, uh, there is the constructed sort of uh, environment. Is it uh, high rises? Is it something we've made uh, that that you know smaller? I, I guess it's you know for the viewer, but uh, to me, it's it's these these things that we've you know as humans we've we've made. There is a, 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 the female figure. I guess it's a recurrent theme uh, in my work. And then I have the and more abstracted uh, characters. I, I try to uh, draw as little as possible uh, and say as much as I can. Placing those figures and uh, having other elements, uh, like, um, for example, <clears throat> the piece that's. Uh, each one must have a dream. It's a very simple, uh, simple piece. Uh, there are practically no geometric uh, shapes except for uh, these sort of balloons there. And there are figures. Each one uh, has, has a, um, a balloon in there. I, I, I like bright color. I like uh, that uh, the work, when, when you place it, it draws attention. And I see how viewers uh, uh, look at it as well. They, they're drawn to it. They're intrigued. Uh, there's a lot of red, a lot of sort of open colors. And yet there's uh, a lot of gray, too. Uh, like, I want to minimally uh, show uh, the amount of information that and convey certain idea. Uh, and like I said, in, indulging myself in sort of shading techniques and uh, uh, showing the atmospheric effects um, in the work. I think a lot of it, uh, because our eye is so sophisticated, uh, a lot of it, it is not even necessary to, to communicate uh, what, what um, I'm trying to communicate. So uh, uh, a lot of the work, uh, even with color, uh, it's trying to be like really flat with a suggestion of some three-dimensionality. January 2013, uh, yet another school shooting happened. And, um, and uh, you know, I was making work and uh, I was starting a new piece. Um, and I guess I was so shaken and so um, kind of traumatized. I guess it was, it was an, it's an elementary school. Kids, uh, have, really young kids have died. I just became uh, a mother myself. And uh, I have, um, so I couldn't do any other work but work about that. I guess I just started drawing this. And that's what came out. It was almost uh, like really physical and um, emotional and subconscious at the same time. Um, so I started making this uh, work where I wanted to um, think of the people who have died uh, at first, and I guess I uh, was making the work uh, the, the right part of the diptych. I had these people in, in the blue, it was almost like they're 
underground, right? They're, uh, but they were in a coffin-like shape, but this coffin-like shape uh, acted as a window into, into their... Um, into their presence. I mean, they're 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 gone from from the earth, but they're still present in in our minds, in the minds of uh, you know their relatives, their close ones, and and so this coffin um, coffin like shape is a window, and they still have the horizon line. They're still you know they're still present. They're still here, and and then I was making the other piece um, about the person who had committed the crime. Uh, uh, so the, the the piece on the right is uh, is called um, "Strung Up." The piece on the left is called uh, uh, "The Bloody Murderer." And when I was uh, making um, uh, the 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 left pe uh, this piece, "The Bloody Murderer," I had a mirror image of of the coffin, a coffin shape, and. And I couldn't really bring myself to, at first I started drawing something in, in that uh, window. Um, and I couldn't bring myself to, to draw anything human because it, it was a, a, a horrible uh, human being who, could, you know, who committed this crime. And, and I just went sort of crazy with the red. It was just filled with blood. Um, and then uh, an idea of sort of these, um, strung up boxes, uh, the blue boxes, the, sort of the coffins, I guess. When I was reading um, uh, recounts of uh, people of how uh, the aftermath, uh, they, because 20 children uh, have died at the same time, they had to bury 20, 20 children, they didn't have enough of small coffins to, to, to put those kids in, to give them proper burial. Um, and this uh, fact is just completely um, uh, shook me, uh, and I, I think so. Those strung up, those strung up boxes, they're just sort of that the the lack of um, uh, enough coffins to to you know. Uh, but American school of um, painting, the Pollock or Rothko, uh, you know, just to name uh, very sort of um, uh, famous names, uh, I think they may have influenced my work uh, from understanding of how our eye sees the, the art. And uh, at the same time, sort of looking at Rothko and, and, and uh, Pollock's work, uh, as I took a class on vision. Uh, and it was studying, you know, everything from sort of how we perceive things and, you know, psychological, societal, you know, levels uh, of, you know, the imagery that we are uh, growing up with to, um, uh, to how, our, uh, how our eye is, you know, uh, how we make images, on, you know, on the back of our eye in the retina. And, you know, the, uh, and how uh, neurologically it's, it's working. Uh, and I think the, the Rothko's work, like that, was sort of almost scientific in a way, you know, with layering uh, color and uh, um, really asking, you know, of a viewer of of, of us uh, to be able to to see through the layers and to to understand the the artwork. Uh, and I think that thought process uh, really sort of uh, informed my, you know, thinking of how I want to make my work.